Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you about Mach 4 Plasma. In our new dedicated plasma profile and screen set, you will find all you need to start plasma cutting with Mach 4. To keep things simple, I'll be breaking down the ins and outs of plasma in several videos. In this one, I'll be discussing the three torch height control modes that are possible in Mach 4. First, I'm excited to share that any motion controller with a Mach 4 compatible plugin that supports the use of out of band axes can be used with Mach 4 Plasma. An out of band axis is an axis that is not coordinated by your G code. In this case, the out of band axis is superimposed on your Z axis and does not require its own separate motor. When you begin configuring your Mach 4 Plasma profile, you will be asked to select a THC mode. The three torch height control modes available are manual, digital, and analog. Which one should you choose? Manual mode uses up and down buttons on the screen to control THC movement. It can be used to test your system in a system where other THC modes are not possible or when operating a gas torch. This mode requires user input to adjust the torch height. Digital mode uses digital torch up and torch down signals. A THC on or arc OK signal enables THC in this mode, the same way it did in Mach 3. If you're looking for backwards compatibility with the hardware you used in Mach 3, this is most likely the right choice for you. Analog mode converts signals into an analog value. If you're using a motion controller that doesn't allow analog inputs, you can still use this mode. We tested analog mode using a click PLC and Modbus to bypass the motion controller, which could not use an analog signal. This mode operates as a virtual motion controller. We'll dig deeper into Mach 4 Plasma in my next video. Until then, stay safe, be creative, and happy CNCing!